Good afternoon, world. I hope each and every one of you are having a blessed and beautiful day in the Lord. If nobody's told you today that they love you, God loves you and so do I. Uh, I had to make a video right now because I am so emotionally and spiritually full right now. I just left out a group and today was the first day that I facilitated the entire group from beginning to end. And when I tell you, bro, I stepped up to the plate and knocked that thing out of the park. I'm talking about a little shy, insecure, low self-esteem, having gay male who's always been made to feel unworthy and less than, took control of the entire class today from beginning to end. And it was so gratifying. What does this message say? Um, it was so gratifying to well first of all when when the counselor came into the to the, our group room we didn't have anyone to facilitate and we had already started talking amongst ourselves which I still had kind of already initiated things to get us going but once she saw that she said okay this is what we're gonna do Desmond your co-facilitator and walked right out the room and I was like whoa okay so I went and, and, and set up in front of the classroom and I, I've been here for 15 months so I know how we open up and what we say and how we call on people and allow people to share and I share my experiences and things like that and so that's what I did but I mean everybody was interested people that usually nod off and go to sleep in class were attentive today this one guy who's actually one of my housemates he and i don't even talk he actually shared today for the very first time and he's been here for a few months and today was the very first time because he's actually one who nods all the time i'm very attentive and so i pay attention to what's going on around me he actually is usually unattentive but today he paid attention and actually shared. And he shared because of a story that I shared about myself. And he wanted to elaborate and relate actually because I had spoke about um, the time I tried to unalive myself and how that whole situation went down and what my mother actually told me when I tried to do that. You know, basically if I really wanted to unalive myself, I should have got a gun and just blew my brains out. Yeah, that's what my mother told me, you know. Uh, but he shared how he was out in the streets abusing drugs. And his mother told him, you can't kill yourself because I don't even have any money to bury you. <laughs> that's how they talk to us. Our parents, the ones that are supposed to love and nurture us. But that's besides the point. You live and you learn and, 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 and as I was able to show them today, family doesn't have to be biological or blood. Family is the people that you choose to be in your circle. People that are going to breathe life into you, uplift you and encourage you. That's who your family is. Blood only makes you related. That's it. I spoke on yesterday how the five consistent people that have contributed consistently to my survival in this last year and a half not one of them is biological so you get help from those who prove themselves to you and unfortunately most of the times it won't be your own family they're the main ones that's preying on your downfall and don't want to see you succeed because they don't want you to be better than they are but anywho it was so Oh my gosh, it was just, it was just so powerful. It was so necessary for me. Because like I said, I was the one who sat in the back of the classroom scared to speak and share. And here I am, leading the group today. I keep saying I'm a leader and I led the group today. Not to keep to my own horn.
storm, but I'm not gonna keep dimming my light either. You know, when there's greatness in you, you have to let that light shine. And I did today. I mean, people came up to me after group saying, thank you for that, Desmond. Because of you, I was able to pay attention all day. They kept telling me, don't you let no haters silence you. Don't worry about them. That's because they wish that they were able to do what you're doing right now. You're necessary. Like, and, and keep doing what you're doing because you don't know who's paying attention, who's watching, what kind of doors can be open unto you because you're doing the right thing. You're being obedient. You're being humble. You're sharing your experiences. You're spreading love to a group of people who need that love. And we know that you're not showboating and, and, and trying to say, look at me, look at me. We know that you're speaking because you got love to give. My friend texted me this morning and said, I know why you share all the time, Desmond. Because what he's done for you, you want other people to know that he can do for them. And that's how I was able to facilitate group today. Like, how did he speak that into existence for me? Like, he had no idea that that was going to happen. But that little bit of encouragement is what empowered me to feel like, go up here, Desmond, and do what needs to be done. And I did it. And I'm so proud of myself because I wouldn't have been called on if I was still out in those streets getting high and drunk and being reckless and irresponsible and careless. But because people can see the growth in me, I was chosen to do what I did today. Mm, mm, mm. It feels so good. Thank you, God, for your lessons and your blessings because I shared that yesterday was a difficult, challenging day for me. And today it turned all around. It turned all around, and I'm so grateful and thankful, and I'm humble. I'm humble. God is great. God is great. Amen. So with that, I just want to encourage somebody that keep speaking your truth. Walk in your truth. Don't allow anybody to silence you or shut you down. Love yourself, love yourself, and love others. And, and anytime you get an opportunity to encourage somebody, that's what you do. You know, spreading love and life. And with that being said, God loves you so much.